Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking Brussels sprouts, potatoes, chorizo and eggs. So let's begin. Okay then, so today's recipe, today's lunch is going to be a quick one. Um, right, got a large pan put here. I'm going to slice my potatoes in like I usually slice them. And about a centimetre, centimetre and a half slices. I'm actually using a bit more potato than Brussels sprouts. The reason being, I was gifted these Brussels sprouts yesterday and it was about, um, I don't know, just over half a kilo. And I wanted to save about half a dozen or eight or ten for another recipe that I have um, I have plans which will be like a starter or a side dish it, that will be coming up soon so stay tuned okay I'm gonna add my sprouts here which I've already cleaned taken a few leaves out and cut the base or whatever you call it I'll chuck them in there as well everything's gonna be done here all together. A couple of chorizos were the equivalent. This is a large chorizo but I've cut it in the equivalent of two chorizos. So that goes in there too. And a couple of eggs. Well three. That will be an aperitif for me with my wine before lunch. They're, they've been washed so there's no hidden bits there. If you know what I mean. And I'm just going to salt it to my liking. And I'm just going to add a couple of bay leaves in. Small bay leaves. Now I'm going to fill that with water. Okay then. So that's filled with water. And I'll turn that on. On full whack until it starts boiling. As I said, it's going to be a really quick recipe, easy lunch, but oh so delicious. So let's wait for that to stop bubbling. Okay then, so this is starting to bubble. So I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to turn the heat down to number eight, seven or eight, and I'm going to leave it there for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, I'll do a stab check on the spuds. And if they're ready, it means that everything else is ready. It means the sprouts will be nicely al dente. And, um, oh yeah, by the way, you've probably seen me cook similar recipes to this. But instead of using sprouts, I've used like... Um, cabbage, cauliflower, um, I, I can't remember, other things, other green stuff. I'll leave some links below in the description for similar recipes which take 15, well 20 minutes max. Okay, let's cover this up a bit. I'll leave a gap obviously, I don't want it going everywhere, I'm not in a cooking mood today. I'm feeling a bit under the weather, I have been done so for the last two three days so we'll wait for that and we'll have a glass of wine while I wait okay so 20 minutes in total have gone by let's turn the extractor fan off I'm gonna turn this off now oh. and we'll do a stab check potatoes perfect so what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to peel the eggs and the this juice you can either chuck it away but I'm not going to do that I'm going to stick it in one of these containers and put it in the fridge once it's cold obviously and I, because I, I do a lot of stews I can use it in the stews 
instead of using one of these cartons that I have to pay for. So, free broth. Right, let's do it. Look at that, that's gorgeous that is. It's got the taste from the chorizo, the potatoes and the sprouts. That will make a really good broth for a stew. <coughs> Excuse me, <coughs> I told you I wasn't feeling very well. Or, you can make a nice soup with that for a nice evening meal with some fresh crusty bread. Well, here's our dinner today. Obviously there's more in the pot, there always is some leftovers. And what we like to do here is give it a sprinkle of olive oil on top. And I like to give it a few shakes of paprika. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's quite quick recipe video. Um, if you enjoyed it, please give me a like. It's always very much appreciated. And please leave me a comment below. I will try and reply as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and goodbye.